team it's a dream I achieve no fame Cause I shrivel cause the cream I signed on the game 2020 on the scene no. Hi guys, it's Effie here. In today's video, I will show you guys how to make that cool build up. It will be really easy to make and you don't need any plugins at all. But now, enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So, the first step is to sync up the clip with the music. How to do that? Just find the beat in the music you want the clip to happen on. Mark that, so just press anime keyboard. Find the shot of impact, so the first frame you see the number appears. So, here we see a little bit of the numbers. Press M on your keyboard that will put down the marker right there. Then you shorten it down. Turn on this magnet tool and it should be really easy for you to just slip it in so all the three markers is in a straight line. Then we can just make it longer so we fill out the whole empty space. What we are gonna do now, we're gonna make some term mapping. How to do that, you just press on the clip, press Ctrl R, then right with the first frame we see the numbers appear, so where the markers are. Press on the arrow and press add B point. From this point, we're gonna go 30 frames to the left, so 30 right here. Press on the arrow again, press add B point. Then about in the middle, it don't need to be exact, press on the arrow again and add B point. What we're gonna do now is to the first space right here, we're gonna press on the arrow. Press change speed, make it to 50% and to the second place right there, we're gonna press change speed and make it to 200%. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna make so this last speed point is a straight line with these three markers. How we're gonna do that, we're gonna just drag the middle speed point until we see that it's synced up. So right here we see this speed point is synced up with the three markers and it should look something like this. And now if you want, you can add some zoom but just add anywhere speed point after the term mapping, press on the arrow, change speed, make it to 50%. And it should look something like this. So now we are done with the term mapping, so we just can close out of the read and control. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna find again the first frame we see the numbers appear, so right here. And just click off of the music and the clip, and just press M on your keyboard. That will put down a marker up here. What we're gonna do now is from this point, we're gonna go 20 frames to the left. So, one, two, three, 20. Right here, we're gonna just press M on the keyboard again, so we put down the marker. And from here, we're gonna go 20 frames more to the left, so 20. Right here, and add another marker. And it should look something like this, so three markers in a line. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take a cursor to the first marker we created and press Ctrl B on the clip. That will split the clip right there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna press on the clip we created, the second clip that we just put in, and hold out and drag it up two layers like this. So we skipped two layers. And it, we just create basically a copy of the clip down here. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna press Ctrl R. That will open the read control. So you can zoom in a bit. Go to first frame of the clip, press on the R and press freeze frame. That will basically just create a still picture as you see guys, it's just a photo. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna just drag the end so it ends right on the third marker. So it should look something like this. It looks pretty awful right now, but I promise we will fix that soon. What we'll do now, we're gonna go to the second marker right here and go back to this main clip and press Ctrl B, that will split it. Then we're gonna go to the clip, the last clip right here Hold Alt and drag it again up, but this time three layers, so it's right above the fr this photo. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna press on the clip, press Ctrl R, that will open read and controls, then we can zoom in, go to the first frame of the clip, press on the R and press freeze frame. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna basically just go to the end and shorten it down to the file marker again, so it should look something like this. My side on the key, 20, 20 on the side. It, now it all just looks a bit better, but we're gonna make it even better now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna press on this longer photo that we created first, right there. And basically go to Inspector, go to Video, and go to Transform, and basically just zoom it out and put it anywhere. So, I just will make a little uh, rotation angle and put it somewhere in the corner, or like this. This looks pretty good, I think. This is a tutorial, so you don't need to be perfect. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the clip right here, the second photo we created that's a bit shorter, and do exactly the same thing, but put it in another place, so maybe like this. I'll make another a little angle. Like and yeah, I think this actually looks really good. You can basically do whatever you want. You can put it anywhere you want. 
But for me, I think this looks pretty good. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a border around it so it's easy to see it. How to do that is basically head down to the description and you should find a Google Drive folder with a basic solid white picture. What you're gonna do now is download it and then just basically drag it and drop it in one of the layers we skipped before. Like this, put it like this and shorten it down so it ends on the file marker. So it starts on the first marker and ends on the third. What are you gonna do now? We're gonna basically just zoom it out and basically just we're gonna just play around with it, zoom in, zoom out, so basically until we find a good border for this clip. So this is a tutorial, so I won't make it perfect, but something like this. This looks pretty good in my opinion. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to downloads again and drag the same picture again in the second skip layer we did. That's why we skipped in two layers before. What we're gonna do, we're gonna find the second marker right here and make so this solid white part to start on the second. So the first one started on the first, the second should start on the second marker. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna zoom out, find the end and just make it so it ends on the third marker. And what we're gonna do now, you probably already know, press on it, zoom out and basically on the second foot we find the best like border so it looks best. So. So basically, in my opinion, this looks pretty good. So. It should look something like this. In my opinion, it looks really good. And now we're gonna basically make some color correction. So how to do that, basically scroll down to the main clip and you should have a little shorter clip from the first market to the second market and a longer clip from the second market to the third. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the third market and press Ctrl B to split it. So we had one, two clips that I so basically how to do the color correction is first off you just need to drag over all the effects we did above, so the photo, and press D on it so everything just gets disabled. So we only see the main clip. As we have two clips like this, we're going to press on the first clip, go to the color tab, and inside of here we're going to color isolate some, some things. So how to do it, go to nodes, if you don't see it, just press on nodes. Press on the clip we see, press Alt L. Then on the O1, the first we see right here, go to this like three dots, turn on the monochroma, nothing will change. But then you go over to the, the O2, press on this qualifier right here, and just press on the color you want to color select. So I will probably make it on the red, so we can just play around with it, find perfect, probably something like this. It's pretty hard to see that this is red, but that's why I'm gonna fix it real quick by just going to the thing right here. And in the game, I'm gonna make it more red, so it looks more red, so something like this. Then we can go to the qualifier and make it just play around with it. In my opinion, this looks really fine. So now we're basically with this, we can go back to the edit tab and should look like this. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the second clip and basically we're gonna and go to color tab. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, go to node, hold alt, press L, go to O1, press on the, the three dots, turn chroma, press on the O2, go to qualifier, and basically I will probably make the sky isolated now, but just, yeah, you can play around with this. I will probably, this looks really good, but again, I want it to be more blue. So I will just go to this circle right here, and turn the game to more blue like this and it should look something like this and in my opinion it's really good so we can just take this back and what we're gonna do now we're gonna make some beat shakes when these photos come back so now it looks like this so the color cushion basically like just comes in but i don't want that i want it to be like a beat shake or something so how to do that is go to just if we drag in the adjustment clip so it starts on the third marker and ends on second, so just press Ctrl B to split right there. What we're gonna do now, if you go to the description, you shouldn't find the video to my preset pack video that's completely free. And inside of the, you should find the Navid B. That looks really good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to adjustment clip, go to effects, and basically just drag it and drop it and connect it and it should look something like this what we're gonna do we're gonna just hold alt and copy to the silicon market and if we 
go to playback and turn on smart and right click on the both clip and press render cache color output and just wait a second we can play through it should be really laggy but soon it will get you see guys as you can see guys it's not laggy anymore in my opinion this looks really good it's what but it's still one thing we need to add that's the sound effect how to do that is basically in the screen you fi should find a gold drive folder and in the same gold drive folder as you find the white picture you shouldn't find the sound effect that's called camera flash and then you should find just drag it in and you should see that the audio comes in here so we just drag it so it starts where the audio starts and it should look something like this we need to something like this and it looks really good what we're gonna do we're basically gonna hold alt on the effect and drag it once again and make it so it starts on the second mark and should look something like this in my opinion guys it looks really good so if you enjoyed the video drop a like drop a sub and comment tutorial ideas and hope you guys enjoyed this see you in the next video